we're going to talk about the optimization of a chemical reactor. In this case, uh, we have two things that are coming in, A and B, and uh, we're trying to maximize the amount of B being produced in the reactor. So we have a reaction that's taking place. We have uh, species A can go to species B, then also the reverse reaction of B going to A. Okay, so let's just uh, read through this problem. We have this uh, reversible chemical reaction, uh, A goes to B and B goes to A, that occurs in, iso in an isothermal continuous stirred tank reactor. So isothermal means uh, temperature is constant, okay, but we can choose what temperature we operate at. And uh, it's also a stirred tank reactor, so we're going to assume it's a well-mixed reactor. Uh, so the outlet concentration equals the concentration inside the reactor. And then we also have uh, some rate expressions for a reaction where uh, we have a rate constant K1 that's going to be dependent on temperature times the concentration of A and then uh, the, con the K2 uh, which is a rate constant for reaction 2 B to A times concentration of B. Now the rate constants K1 and K2 have the following Arrhenius temperature uh, dependence and we can see um, one thing to keep in mind is that this is equal to 5,000 and that is equal to 5,500. Okay, so they're, they're different uh, ex, uh, activation energies in the um, exponential term. Okay, so um, here are the units, hour and uh, temperature for, uh, is in Kelvin and uh, we want to be able to determine the optimal values of the temperature and also the flow rate of B that maximize. Now this is an important one. We, uh, we want to maximize the steady state production rate of component B that's produced in the reactor, not just flowing out of the reactor. Okay, so the allowable range for flow rate of B coming in is between 0 and 200, and for temperature is between uh, 300 to 500 Kelvin. Okay, so available information that we can use for this. Um, we can start with um, this template. Okay, so here at this web address, um, if you type that in, you'll go to a template that you can use and solve this problem online. We're going to assume that the reactor is perfectly mixed, um, that we have a volume of liquid V that is maintained constant, and then we have a couple other uh, parameters here. The volume is going to be equal to 200 liters. The flow rate of A. Okay, so the A flow rate is going to be 150 liters per hour and that's just going to be constant. And then also the concentration of A in the feed and B in the feed is going to be constant at 0.3 moles uh, per liter for each of those. Okay, so this is a multiple choice um, a multiple choice selection here. Okay, and uh, either A we're going to have um, you know, 404 Kelvin and then also zero flow rate of B or the other, the next two options have um, different temperatures but 200 uh, liters per hour of B flowing in. Okay, or um, other op options are infeasible no solution or none of the above. Okay, so let's go ahead and just um, go through this problem. Um, what I'm going to do is um, just go ahead and open up Notepad, okay? And uh, I have um, here in Notepad, I've typed up uh, the solution to this. And uh, you can see that you have a flow rate of A, concentration of A in the feed, concentration of B in the feed, and the volume of a reactor. Those were all given to us and those were going to be uh, constant. Um, and then I also have temperature and flow rate of B that could be between, um, you know, flow rate of B between 0 and 200 and temperature between 300 and 500 with initial guess values of, of 300 and 0. Um, the other thing I have is, uh, you know, concentration of A. Okay, I'm just going to assume that the reactor is initially just full of A and then concentration of B is 0 and the total flow rate out um, is just going to be a flow rate of A. Although if I have flow rate of B, uh, the total flow rate is going to be flow rate of A plus the flow rate of B. Okay, I'm also computing a couple other things here, the outlet of B. 
uh, the inlet moles of B, and then the production of B, and I have a, a B1, and then also a B2 here. And I'll show you those a little bit later. Um, I'm also computing the values of K1 and K2 in an intermediate section. Okay, um, now those are just intermediate calculations that are then going to be substituted into the expressions down below. Okay, so for an overall mole balance, I know that the uh, flow in equals the flow out. Okay, and so I have flow rate in is FA plus FB. And, uh, and then we also have the overall species balance for A. We have an accumulation term, and then this is an in. Those are the moles in minus uh, the moles out and then minus that which is consumed of A, so that's the A to B reaction, and then this is the B to A reaction, so that uh, produces A. Okay, and those two are just opposite signs here. You can see those um, just opposite signs for B to A and A to B. Um, and then we also have CB out, okay, that's the concentration, that's the molar flow rate of B out and the molar flow rate of B in, and then we also have an accumulation term. Okay, so um, this is the inlet uh, coming into the reactor, the outlet going out of the reactor. Okay, so we have two different production rate calculations here. And at steady state, these should be the same. Production rate uh, for B1, that is going to be outlet of B minus the inlet of B. And then a second one is, is actually um, based on the rate constants. Uh, okay, so what's happening inside the reactor instead of just the um, in and out terms. Okay, and then um, this is this is maybe my first guess at doing this. If I want to maximize the B leaving the reactor. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is just copy this, and then I'm going to open up. Okay, I'm going to go to apmonitor.com, and then select the solve optimization problems. Okay, and then whatever's there, let's just go ahead and replace that with our problem that we have. Okay, and uh, I am going to, um, okay, so here we have our problem, and then I'm just going to select a solver. I'll just go ahead and select the AP up solver, and I'll just go ahead and leave it on steady state optimize. And then I'll hit the green button here. Um, now this green button, that'll solve the problem, and then it'll show the solution. Uh, down below. Okay, so here it is. It had a successful solution and um, it said that uh, we need to go to a temperature of 300. Hmm, interesting. Okay, um, let's try another solver here. I'm going to scroll back up and try the IPOP solver and solve it again. And um, same result. Okay, so they both gave us the same answer. Um, let's go ahead and see what's happening here with the uh, the problem. Okay, so if I want to optimize, now I, this is the amount of B uh, leaving the reactor. I'm, I'm trying to maximize that. But instead of doing that, let me go ahead and try to maximize the production rate. Okay, so I uncommented that line. It did have an exclamation mark in front of it. Um, and let me go ahead and just try to optimize that. Um, I'll go ahead and change it back to the AP op solver and then click the green button again and uh, optimize it. Okay, I'm not sure if it did that. Let me uh, just make sure I selected the button. Okay, and uh, apparently I have a an error in my model. Oh, and you know what the error is? I forgot to move these uh, temperatures and flow rate of B down into the variable section. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so now that I can calculate these before they were just uh, fixed. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and just select the green button again. Okay, and then scroll down to the bottom and I'll see a uh, if I select the view solution results. Okay, I can see my answer in tabular format. Um, and you can see a temperature of 405, okay, 404.5, and then a flow rate of B equals zero. Okay, um, let me just go ahead and go back 
um, I'm going to go back to my model now and and let's say instead of okay so instead of maximizing the amount that's produced in B or of uh, B producing the reactor let's say I maximize the amount leaving the reactor okay and so let me solve it one more time and I'll come back down okay so I had a temperature value of 368 okay and then also a flow rate of B of 200 okay and also if you select the solution results you can see that okay so in the first one when we were trying to maximize the amount that was produced inside the reactor we had a solution of 404 Kelvin and a flow rate of B of zero and in this case we have a temperature of 368 and a flow rate of B of 200 so let's go back to our quiz and just look at some of the potential solutions there okay so um, here are two solutions that we came up with so which so which one is correct okay so in this case we are maximizing um, the B leaving the reactor and this was the B uh, produced in the reactor okay so let's uh, let's go back up and look at a problem statement um, it says determine the optimum values of temperature and flow rate that maximize the steady state production rate of component B that is produced in the reactor not just flowing out of the reactor okay so um, based on that we're gonna go ahead and just select a for that problem and um, you know so that's uh, that is the solution to problem number two um, this uh, tank optimization problem